Alabama is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's taken down at the 34. outside for a nice game. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. You hear they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense, and in this case, he did. Nice job. Brought down around the 49-yard line. And that'll be a first down on the three-yard pass. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. Makes it out to about the 40. about the 24-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. From the 24-yard line, first down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's got an opening. Inside the 10. Gets out to around the 6. You love having this kind of weapon. You already know what kind of damage he can cause in the passing game. And here, you can see what he can do when you hand the ball off to him. Touchdown, Tigers! Oh, that's a great job with some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. It's tough to maneuver. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. So our score, 7-0. Auburn gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. I and mean, you can do that as a quarterback, and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss from their own 22-yard line. Second down. Tackle made to the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll make it 35. Man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. Mike Spahn, Mike Spahn. Gets it, he's in space. I like the call here, looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down at the 39. Gets 
it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of 26 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Three down, three down. Five, five. Here we go, here we go, here we go. go. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 26. Third down. Third down again. Mike five. Mike five. And two. Exception. They'll bring him down to the 26 yard line. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first, but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. He's on the run. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on down. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 27. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Yeah. The 39 yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He fields the punt at the 16. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Quick pass. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First and ten. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Auburn's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And he is drilled at the 35.
Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 35 yard line. He lets it fly. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. First down. Just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Let's it fly. In the air. It's intercepted. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 30. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Auburn up seven points. It's the linebacker. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. And sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. Brad, these guys need to make a big play to regain the confidence and regain the momentum. They've got to come up with a couple of first downs after that last possession where they turned it over and gave up the points. Room around the corner. Fights forward to around midfield. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he tackles him hard at the 46. The 46 yard line. Third down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. ground and he 
won't get back to the line. That makes it second and ten. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's taken down around the 36 yard line. Looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. And he's going to come up with a sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Six, black seven, blue! Quick out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Auburn is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. And he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Man, watch out here. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. Red two, blue four, motion, blue motion, motion. go. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. It's picked off. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from the safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Auburn is up a field goal. Complete. He's got room. He's out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Hey, me and you all day. All day. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike Sick, 33. He gets to about the 27-yard line. The 31 yard line. That's good for a game four yards. That'll make it 77. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. That makes it 37. He's hit before he can go anywhere. Two-yard pickup. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. And this one is a beauty. 
And he shoved out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. My five, my five. Red, two, three, and eight. He wants it all going long. Caught by the sophomore. Touchdown time. <laughs> Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 71-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now, 14-10. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackled after positive yardage. That's a deep problem. That brings him second and five. So at the end of the half, Alabama leads it 14 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's, it's fun to watch. It's something that... As a great, every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackle. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Alabama holds a four-point lead. And down he goes at about the 21. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 21 yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Dumps it out left to the running back. And they make the stop around the 23 yard line. more than a three and out. Great job, defense. <laughs> Booming kick. Oh, 
Not only did that kick prevent a return, but now he's given them almost a full field in front of him. That's a super effort. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Ready! Black Knight! And he's taken down around the two-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Makes it out to about the 13. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Mark check, 33, 33. Check 99, check 99. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 15. Tackle right around the 26 yard line. Bring him down in the backfield. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Kill, 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 kill. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Kill, kill! Check 99! Check 99! The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Number six on the tackle at the 41-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and nine. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Tries to get around the corner. He fields it at the 17. Auburn's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Alabama is up by four. The halfback picks up a yard. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30. Got it and brought down immediately. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it 33. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He makes his way to about the 45. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. Three down, three down. Mike five, Mike Go four. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 42 yard line. Game of 13 on the ball. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike five. Mike five. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X, C. 
Here they come. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 27-yard line, it's first down. Quick pass, intercepted. He's taken down at the 18. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. From the 18-yard line, first down. Alabama is up four. Red 85. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. Quickly to the tight end. Brought down around the 13 yard line. Number 12 on the tackle at the 13 yard line. That'll make it the From the 13 yard line, it's third down. Caught and he's hit immediately. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 14-10, Alabama. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he is drilled at the 26-yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Third and long here. Let's see what the offensive coordinators come up with. And this quarterback needs a conversion here. That's a great tackle at the 13. Call a loss of 11 yards. That makes it fourth and long. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. This is not the type of game you'd expect to see from an experienced quarterback. Well, I think we knew coming in that this quarterback was going to face a great challenge in facing this, this dominant defense. And right now, the defense is getting the best of them. But I really want to mention the defensive line. I think they're creating the pressure, which is forcing turnovers. And if you don't think this crowd isn't going to be an extra defender making things harder for him, you try getting under center and listening to the ruckus they're making. A score here might effectively end this one. Alabama is up seven. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three.
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick strike to the receiver. So the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 30. Mike five, Mike five. Red two, X seven. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the 21 yard line. Number 19 on the tackle at the 21 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Mike five, Red two, X seven. And he hits him hard at the 11-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. From the 11-yard line, first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five! So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Alabama's star is shining as brightly as he ever has. It is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's leveled at the 30-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. And he stops the clock with a spike. From their own 30-yard line. Third down. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And down he goes. Right around the 42-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Big play, and it's first and goal. And he 
throws it away. From the six yard line, second down. And he just gets rid of it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Interception's going to seal this game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. The Tigers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Four down, four down. My five, my five, my five. Four. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. This one's in the books, and our final score, 24-10, Crimson Tide. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.